Ukraine may strike at Russian targets in Belarus, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania. Russian troops were stationed on the territory of Belarus from the very beginning of the full-scale invasion. From there, they attacked the northern regions of Ukraine. Currently, Russian troops are stationed in training camps and for other purposes. However, there is a hypothetical possibility of transferring enemy troops from Russia to Belarus to launch new strikes on Ukraine. The head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania, Gabrielas Landsbergis, commenting on the question of journalists about whether Ukraine can strike on the territory of Belarus, said that if Russia moves military facilities to another place, then the selection of targets must be moved. If Russia Fearing that the targets may be fired on in Russia may move them somewhere else, I believe that the selection of targets should also be moved, he said. Answering the question of whether Ukraine should strike targets in Belarus, the Lithuanian foreign minister noted that he meant that Ukraine should have the ability to defend itself. Recall already the West allowed Ukraine to hit targets in Russia. The US allowed Ukraine to use American weapons for strikes on the territory of Russia. However, there will be certain restrictions. Ukraine began to receive positive signals from diplomatic channels about the limited use of American weapons in the border region with Kharkiv. Germany also allowed Ukraine to use German weapons on the territory of Russia in accordance with international law to protect against Russian strikes from the enemy's border areas. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that the target and the flight route for modern strike systems are submitted remotely or automatically without any presence of Ukrainian servicemen, adding that this is being done by those who produce and ship these strike systems to Ukraine. Putin underscored that NATO countries must realize what they are toying with. Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev also said that all long-range weapons shipped to Ukraine are being directly controlled by NATO servicemen, adding that such actions should be a reason for retaliatory strikes. Russia has struck Ukraine's energy facilities and damaged arsenals for storing Western weapons, Russian Defense Ministry reported on Saturday. In response to Kiev regime's attempts to damage Russian energy and transport facilities, the armed forces of the Russian Federation launched a group strike with long-range air and sea-based precision weapons against Ukrainian energy facilities that support the operation of military-industrial complex enterprises. In addition, the arsenals for storing Western weapons were damaged, the ministry said in its daily briefing. Ukrainian officials confirmed the reports of strikes on the country's energy infrastructure. German Galish Kino, Minister for Energy, said that energy facilities in Zaporizhia, Dnipropetrovsk, Donetsk, Kirovograd, Ivano-Frankivsk regions were attacked. According to local media reports that cited Ukrainian officials, Russia fired a combined 100 missiles and drones at Ukraine overnight. An Air Force spokesman stated that Russia launched 53 missiles of various types and 47 attack drones. Some 35 of the missiles and all but one of the drones were shot down. Two thermal power plants were damaged in the attack, Ukraine's largest private energy company, DTEK operator was reported as saying. He did not specify the location of these power plants but reminded that the overnight attack was the sixth major attack on the company's power plants since mid-March. It was another extremely difficult night for the Ukrainian energy sector. The enemy struck two of our thermal power plants. The equipment was seriously damaged, the company said in a statement posted on Telegram app. Спасибо. Спасибо. Спасибо.